All right, this video is going to show you how to install um, CM7 or CM9 on a, a micro SD card to uh, for the Nook Color. This way, you can actually keep the Nook Color unrooted and just run the operating run the Android operating system directly from the micro SD card. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go to AndroidAdvice.com and um, you can search for Nook or Nook Color and you'll find the directions. Um, I also have them in the um, description of this video. Um, download the files that you need there. Um, you can download them directly from there if you want CM9. If you want CM7, you need to go to CyanogenMod and just download the latest stable um, release. Um, first thing you're going to want to do after you download these is uh, run Win32 Disk Imager. with your micro SD card in an adapter in the computer. Okay, here we are. So now you're going to want to select that uh, SD card and then click on the blue folder to find the image file that you downloaded. So we put that there. And you can generate an MD5 hash if you'd like and then click write. It's going to give you an error. Here you're going to say it says writing to a physical device can corrupt the device. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we do. And it starts. Um, if you get an error there, other than that, like a can't write or can't find the SD card, um, what you want to do is make sure you're in an administrative account. Even running this from a user account and running as administrator sometimes does not work because um, you're actually flashing the micro SD card you're not just writing files to it alright so once this completes um, this process may be a little different on the video than what the instructions say on the website um, I kinda do more detail on the website um, okay write successful so now we can close this out we don't need it anymore Okay. Now once you do that, you'll notice over here um, it's going to be missing that SD card. So what you want to do is pull it out of the computer. Let's wait a second. Plug it back in. And here it goes. It found it. it showed up here. Now when you open it, what you should see is a few files. There's an MLO, uboot.bin, uimage, and uramdisk. Um, now what you're going to do here is you're going to want to find the files that you downloaded that have, um, let's see, it will be the, I'm going to put CM7 on here, although you, uh, you can put CM7 or 9, 7 does run a bit smoother. Um, you want to make sure that the CM7 file that you use starts with the word update and is a zip file. Um, you're going to copy that along with gapps over to your micro SD card <clears throat> we'll wait for that Okay. Once that's done, let's grab the micro SD card. And so let's catch up. We'll take the nook in the back of it. This is where you stick it, which is a pain in the butt, by the way. Slide that in. Okay. Now next we're going to turn it on. You'll see loading. And it looks a little jagged but here, but it that's just the way it is. Don't worry, everything's fine. Alright. 
now it's starting to install everything. Um, what it'll do is when it gets to the file, it'll start writing that image of the zip file that you have on there for CM7 or 9. It's installing it now. Now right there is where you would have hit the error right before it started these files. If the file, um, the CM7 file, does not start with the word update. I know you can't really see what files are being updated here, but it's just in installing the image for CM7. And once this is done, it's going to start installing gapps automatically. Um, if you did not copy gapps over to the SD card at the same time you uh, copied CM7 over, or 9, um, what you'll do is once you boot in to um, the Nook, you can actually um, just reboot it with that on the SD card and it'll find it and install it. Alright. Now it will remove both of those both of those files once it's done installing. Um, I'm letting it do the entire process so that uh, you can kind of see how long it's going to take. So if you think it's taking too long, you know here. Um, and next, it's going to shut down on its own. There it goes. Um, it sh if it shuts down on its own right there, that means you're good. Everything's fine. So now all you need to do is hold down the power button. It'll flash, and there you go. That says CyanogenMod mod if you can't read it. I've got it set up to standard definition. Of course, the first time you load this, it takes a little longer. Um, you know, every time you reboot this after this initial load, it, it'll be fine. <clears throat> and that's it. Now you will set it up. Um, so if you have any questions you can go to the website androidadvice.com. Um, I'll have the link to the specific article for this in the um, video. Um, otherwise, good luck.